Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Ascendant, and today what I have for you ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to be showing you the spawn locations for the Rick and Morty characters here in Borderlands 3. Now, real quick, before I get into it, I'm going to show you guys exactly where you need to go. So, in the story mode, you'll eventually stumble upon the planet Promethea, and you'll head to the Meridian Metroplex, as you guys can see right here. And this is where I'm at right here. And basically, eventually you'll get a side mission from Moxie, which will make this significantly easier. That'll uh, pretty much make you have to go to Lecture City, and Lecture City is the spawn location for these characters. Now, upon arriving in Lecture City, uh, this will actually make it significantly easier if this is your first time ever here. Uh, down right about around here in this area, you guys will see a side mission. I, of course, have already progressed further in the game, so it's not quite there for me. Uh, but the side mission will make this significantly easier for you guys to find. Uh, the exact side mission is this, uh, a guy stuck in a porta potty. It's actually a fun little mission. Uh, I always set my marker right here for this little circle. And so, you know, you just make a custom waypoint here. And from here, basically, what you do, guys, you just head up the stairs. And uh, if this is, like, your first time here and you got the side mission, you'll be greeted by, like, some dude and a bunch of, like, fangirls or something like that. Uh, you don't have to have the side mission. It just makes things easier. Uh, but you'll pretty much just kind of follow this little path here. And honestly, I feel like, for the most part, they kind of nailed these characters down to a T in here in Borderlands, which is actually pretty cool. Uh, but you can just ignore the enemies or you can fight them if you want some XP. Now, right here is where they will spawn. You guys can see that there is some robots and such here. And I'll actually be cutting to when uh, you guys will see me fighting them. Uh, but to make this farm a little easier and a little faster, unfortunately, I didn't get to spawn this time. That is one thing. They don't always spawn for me. I don't know if that's like a thing for everyone. I imagine it is. Uh, but basically, you just head right on down here. And there is a checkpoint area. You guys can ignore the enemies or you can fight them. And this will make it significantly quicker and faster for you guys if you just go right here and you hit this little checkpoint. And then every time you save and quit, you'll spawn right here. So that means it's just a short little walk back to the location. Alright, so spawn back in. And something I want to just talk about real quick with this is actually pretty cool. Uh, as you guys can see, uh, Wiccan Warty, I think is what they're called in this one. The little portal or whatever, like the green portal that goes around them, looks exactly the same as like I see on t-shirts and all that stuff, which I thought was really dope. Now, I didn't unfortunately get the orange shotgun or any oranges in this uh, specific uh, farm, but actually I ended up, uh, whenever all my stuff was just kind of like getting ready and everything, I decided to run the farm one more time and I actually ended up getting the orange shotgun, which you guys will see here in a minute. But basically you just kind of go around and fight the robots. The robots are kind of annoying and then you got the little, uh, I guess like the little Morty knockoffs and stuff. They're all kind of running around. Uh, Wick is actually pretty dope. Like Wick will run around and like, I don't know, like I think they just did a really good job with these characters in this and it's a... Uh, pretty cool like if you run over here and you jump around and you don't see wick right away and trust me you'll be able to see the blue hair pretty much right off the bat i think this is the clip where i almost died just trying to run around and show you guys the characters but yeah here it is so basically you'll just run over there jump around if you don't see the blue hair in the background just immediately quit and go back in because sometimes they will not spawn uh, but for the most part, that's just what I do. I run over there and make sure that they spawn in. And then, you know, if I don't see them, then I'll just come back out do the run again. And I kind of did this a few times. It didn't take me too many times to get the shotgun. Uh, but, yeah, there is Wick right there. Uh, pretty cool looking. I tried to get, like, as much footage as I could of just, like, kind of, like, what the characters look like and everything. Okay, I'll be damned. I got an orange weapon finally. There it is, guys. I have the redundant savvy Ferbert. I actually got an orange. I'm so glad I kept doing this while my stuff was uh, processing and everything. All right, cool. So here we go, guys. I got an orange weapon. I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And uh, let's go ahead and pick this bad boy up and see what it does here. There it is, guys. Oh, yes. I like it. I like it. Nice. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. 
And this farm is really easy. If you guys just want some XP, if you guys just want to get some cool legendary weapons, that's pretty early in the game, just easy to farm. So yeah, take care guys. I love you. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace. Don't forget to like, follow, and obey.